In this presentation, we're going to talk about inserting slicers into your pivot table. I have a pivot table here that I've been working with. So to add a slicer to it, I'm going to select a cell in my pivot table. And then you'll see here at the top on the ribbon, the pivot table tools analyze and design tabs display because we're working within our pivot table. If I select analyze from the filter group, I can select insert slicer and the insert slicers dialog box is going to open. Slicers are a way for me to quickly filter data within my table. So I'm going to filter data by the listing price of these houses in my real estate list. So I'm going to select the listing price checkbox and click OK. And now you'll see up here pops this listing price slicers dialog box, which I can actually move around within my pivot table. I can change its size by dragging the fill handles. So here within this listing price box are all the listing prices of my houses. If I want to filter by a listing price, I can select that price and then you can see the various prices that I'm selecting are showing up here. If I want to clear my filter, I can click this clear filter button. And I can also use this multi-select option to select a number of different ways to filter. And you can see here on the ribbon that since I'm working within a slicer, the slicer tools options tab is appearing. And there's various ways I can, I can change the way my slicers appear and I can further customize my slicers to how I want them to appear and how I want to work with my data. Coming up next, you'll go over how to insert pivot charts into an Excel 2016 workbook.